Alright guys, I'm going to show you guys how to SSH into your iPhone and what the benefits are and how to use it. So basically, you're going to need to download a couple things from Cydia. First of all, you're going to need to download automatic SSH. That will be the first thing. Um, after that, you will need to download open SSH and toggle SSH. So once you have those installed, um, just search SSH in Cydia and this is what you'll come up with. You'll download those three things. Um, you're going to exit out of there and you're going to head back to your computer. So after you download that, you're going to go to Google and you're going to type in WinSCP. Click on the first link right there. You're going to hit download right there. And uh, you're going to click on installation package there. Once that's installed, you're going to go to WinSCP on the desktop. And you're going to get this. Um, you're going to click on new. The host name is your IP address. To find that, you go into your iPhone or iPod, you need to be connected to Wi-Fi, obviously. Um, you're going to click on your Wi-Fi, you're going to hit this arrow, here's your IP address right at the top. You know, honestly, don't tell me what my IP address because I really don't care. I'm aware of what it is. So you're going to type in 192.168. whatever the rest of yours is. Um, fuck all. Um, sorry, guys. So once you get in, you're going to hit login. It's going to ask you for the password. Um, actually, sorry. Um, when you first get this program, when you click new, you're going to type in your host name, which is your IP address, your username, which is root, and your password is alpine. So A-L-P-I-N-E, and then you're going to hit login. So I'm going to hit login online. After you log in, you're going to get this screen here. Um, so, one side is your computer and the other side is the root folders of your iPhone or iPod Touch. Cool things about this is basically you can go through all the roots of your phone, look through anything, uh, you know, edit stuff. So, going back here, I am going to go to, I'm going to click on VAR. And I'm going to go down to Stash. This is where a lot of your stuff is. I'm going to click on Themes. And for example, I'm going to click on Green Chat Progress. So as you all know, we on the iPhone, when you send a message, there's a progress bar up at the top. I have made my own bar by doing this. And I'll show you exactly how. Click on Bundles. Click on this. Until you get here, progressfill.png. Right click, hit open. It's going to open up. This is what the chat progress looks like if you download downloaded a themed one. As you can see, half of it's green, some of it's white. What you can do, uh, mine's in the recycle bin. I made my own. So. Let me just try and find it here. Here it is. This is the one that I made. Half of it's blue and half of it's red. All I did was... All you have to do, right click on this. Click copy. You're going to copy it. Easiest place is to copy to the desktop and hit copy. 
So after you copy that to the desktop, for example, uh, I'll take mine back up. So say that was the one that I copied to the desktop. I opened it with Paint, fooled around with it, Paint Shop Pro, do whatever you like. Um, fooled around with it a bit. After that, you're going to name it the exact same thing as what it's named in here. Right click, hit delete, delete that, and then put in your new one that you made. So now, after that's done, no need to respring, none of that junk. Um, going to go into your, this is only for iPhone by the way, the chat progress. You can do other cool things like um, change the, the tone of your your keyboard um, or whatnot. So basically I'll go in and uh, <coughs> I'll type a new message to a local radio station because obviously they're not going to text back. So type in something you suck okay after I get that typed in hit send and watch the chat progress might have been hard for you to see but it is red and blue the one that I created same thing um, I put in my own background for um, my texting and whatnot so it's pretty cool. Um, you can do a lot of different things. You can edit the sounds of your keyboard click. You can delete tons of stuff. Um, so there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. Um, and it's really cool. I mean, you can go into, like, go back to themes. And I go into, um, uh, you can change the slider text. Um, so if you watch one of my videos on how to get slider text for your slide to unlock, or if you change name, what I do is I'll open this, open that, open that, and this is exactly what the slider text looks like. Okay, so what you can do is you can make your own, say you wanted to make it all blue, half of it blue, middle white, and the rest blue, and then you'd have a blue and white and blue chat progress, which is really cool. Um, so you can do a lot of stuff with that. I mean, you guys can... Uh, You guys can fool around with it, you know, look on tutorials, look at tutorials online, um, edit any of the themes that you download from Cydia, edit your own, whatnot. Um, so, and uh, it just wants you to terminate the session, so say okay, and uh, do whatever. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I got for now. Um, you, there, there is a lot of stuff that you can do in SSH. Um, one of the best things you should do is change your password when you first start up because there is iPhone worms that go around because the default password is Alpine and I'll just I had a couple minutes left so I'll just show you how to do that. You go into Cydia you're gonna download what's called mobile terminal um, I don't even remember where I put mine yeah, here it is, and it's going to come up like this, terminal. Click on that. It's almost like command prompt in uh, computer. So here it is. This is what you start with. You're going to type in P-A-S-S-W-D, just like that, if you can see it. Anyway, P-A-S-S-W-D. And then it'll say changing password for mobile. It'll say old password. You'll type in Alpine. And then new password. You'll type in whatever password you want. That's it. Retype new password again. And that's it. It's done. I had a mismatch. I didn't type them in wrong. Whatever. Um, so, change that. Change your password. You should be all good to go. Thanks, guys.